Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with such an amazing video for you. Well, amazing in my eyes. I am so excited to share these oils with you. Today we're gonna be smelling a bunch of oils from Estero. I did, a couple weeks ago, I did a video about my favorite oils in my collection. And I talked about these two. I've got this one here that is, smells like Estero. This is a beautiful, oh my gosh, it is a beautiful, clean, kind of white skin musk. It's amazing. It's one of those fragrances that is like, it's like a ghost. It just, it clings to you and every time you move, you kind of get a whiff of it. Everybody else around you can smell it because it just radiates off of your skin. You smell clean and amazing and it's just an amazing fragrance. I've also got this one. This is Smells Like Bang. I talked about this one in that video as well and this one I adore. This is kind of it's like a kind of a clean cotton candy sweet kind of fragrance, but it's not overwhelming and it's not it's not like saccharin sweet. It's not it's sweet, don't get me wrong, but it's not like saccharin sweet. It's not going to knock you over. It's definitely not pink sugar or something like that that a lot of people don't like fragrances like that. This is perfect on its own. It's also beautiful layered. So anyways, I have loved these. I've had I ordered these two at, at the same time. I think when I ordered these, she only had maybe three oils. She might have only had these two or maybe three. I definitely don't remember there being that many and I feel like I got basically what there was. Um, and I have loved these both. These are fragrances. Both of these live on my desk. I wear them all the time. I use smell like, Smells Like Bang um, to layer over a lot, but I've also been known to wear it just on its own. And I wear Smells Like Estero a lot because it is a beautiful, easy to reach for. Um, these are my favorite kinds of fragrances for like when I first get out of the shower. And because I work mostly out of my house now, these are the kind of fragrances that I want to wear most of the time. Um, they just, I don't know, there's something so comforting about them. But anyways, when I did my oils video and I was editing it, and I was linking, I was adding links for these fragrances, I saw that she had come out with a ton of other fragrances from since the time that I ordered those. And oh my gosh, I knew that I needed some. They're so affordable, and so I immediately started adding stuff to my cart, adding stuff to my cart. Well, I got them in the mail today. And I'm telling you, I think I've got every single one of these on my skin right now. <laughs> I've just been in this cloud of beauty. So I got these in the mail today and I immediately noticed, I was like, I think I only ordered four oils. And I immediately noticed that I had some extras in here. So I was really, really excited. And then I noticed that there was a handwritten note on the bottom. I know that I've got a lot of Estero fans out there because you you guys are the ones that turned me on to her oils. And yeah, so when I saw she she wrote me a handwritten um, three page like note because she, I think she saw the oil video that I did, the oils video that I did where I talked about her fragrances and how much I loved them. And so it's basically just a note thanking me for my review. And um, she talks about how she included extra things for me. Um, and she included this unmarked bottle, which is, she said it's actually a cologne. Um, she didn't have any spray bottles left, but you can find this on her website. This is... It's called Heaven Boy, and it's a, she mixed together two fragrances, one called Heaven Scent and Indigo Boy, Indigo Boy, which we're going to talk about. I've got those oils. And so she put it in this rollerball. Now, this is a spray perfume because she does offer spray perfumes as well now, um, and which I, I did tell you because I did notice that, that she was offering a spray form of Smells Like Estero, which... Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh is all I can say. This fragrance, and I'm telling you guys, when I started, when I, because of course I immediately opened this package, I started putting every single one on my body somewhere because I just wanted to smell them so badly. 
I was so grateful for the extras that she sent. I was so grateful for the handwritten note. And seriously, after I got all of them on my body and then was going back and forth with my nose, all over my arms, on my, sh you know, on my shirt, like smelling all of the different ones, I immediately thought in my head, okay, if I literally lost my entire perfume collection, like I had none of my perfumes, no Dior Addict, no Hypnotic Poison, no Orchidée Vanille from Van Cleef and Arpels, um, you know, no, like literally nothing. I didn't have any perfume anymore. If I had just this set of oils, I would be a happy camper. I seriously, like I could live. So I've got almost the entire set here. Um, I've got almost everything that she offers. And then she did send a little baggie with a cotton ball soaked in one called Country Living, which I will just need to go ahead and order because it's amazing. Um, but yeah, if I had just this set of oils and not a perfume collection at all, I would be happy for the rest of my life because there is every single category, like every single Thing that I could possibly want, I can find in one of these oils. They are all that amazing. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I, I mean, you guys know I've loved them ever since just these first two. Like, ever since I ordered just those first two, I've been in love with them. Um, these are like on another level. And that's what I want to talk about because I did do a whole video on a bunch of oils. I've got so many oils in my collection from so many different companies. And I love them. I love oils. I love indie houses. But I can honestly say these are some of the best and some of the most unique fragrances or so and some of the most unique oils that I've ever smelled. They there is something so natural and pure and I don't know, different smelling about these that I've never found with another oil indie house. And sometimes with the with the indie houses, as much as I love them, sometimes they'll try to do like some gourmand fragrances and they'll just like throw the kitchen sink at it and they'll start adding like so many different notes that it ends up just kind of smelling like a hot mess or it ends up to where you can't pick out any individual notes. It just smells like I don't know, like some nondescript, like weird gourmand. That is one thing that I can say I've never gotten with any of these oils. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna start talking about them. We talked about Smells Like Estero. We talked about Smells Like Bang. Let's get on to the other ones. So we'll talk about Country Living. So this is one, um, I didn't order this one. Oh my gosh, and I don't know why. It is so flippin' good. It's... there's something and I need this one because if I didn't like if anything ever happens if the dollar if like inflation ends up getting so bad that we have to pay like I don't know a hundred dollars for a gallon of milk or we're literally throwing dollars in the street because they're not worth anything anymore and I have to like barter with my perfume collection if it ever gets that bad then as long as I have my set of Estero oils I'll be happy they're literally all I need and they're so concentrated, I would be happy. But I will need this one, I will need Country Living because this would fill the kind of, this would fill the need for something that leans a little bit green and fresh. So I feel like I need this one, which I'll get it, definitely. I'm gonna put in an order for the ones that I don't have. I think this one, well, shoot, this might be the only one I don't have. So yeah, that one is called Country Living. Okay, so back to um, Heaven Boy. So I have no idea what is in this, but the product details on the website say that it is Heaven Scent and Indigo Boy mixed together. Um, she said that she mixes it in a mini sprayer on her hand and just sits there smelling her hand like weirdo while I watch TV. Uh, this is what I want my next boo to smell like so I can live up in his neck. I figure you shouldn't have to miss out on all of the fun. So this is available on the website now in a spray form. Um, so, so affordable, you guys. Her spray perfumes are in the $30 range. These oils, they're less than $12 a piece. 
So I, I, I don't even have to say anything else. They're, they're amazing and they're incredibly, incredibly affordable. So anyways, yeah. Um, so that is that the perfume it's, it's new. So that's the perfume called heaven boy and it's amazing. It smells, um, it does lean a little bit masculine, but it's not so masculine leaning that it's not something I would wear. I will totally wear this. I will 100% wear this. It smells, there's something kind of fresh smelling about it, but it also kind of has that resinous, but it's like a light. It's like slightly resinous. It's a light resin. Oh my gosh, it's good. It is so good. So anyways, that is a perfume called Heaven Boy or a clone called Heaven Boy. It's so good. Um, okay, back to country living. So, and I love it because the label on the oil is green and she sent it in a green bag. It's so cute. So I knew exactly, like I knew immediately before I even saw the sticker on the front. I was like, oh, that's a cotton ball with country living on it, which is amazing. I knew we could just from the little green bag, cutest thing ever. The product details on this one say it's vintage, sweet smelling, old school Egyptian musk, leafy, lightly woodsy, springtime fresh. And if you like Egyptian musk, that's slightly sweet. the slightly sweet, like very slightly musky, very clean Egyptian musk, but imagine mixing that with like springtime sweet greens. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. I mean, it is incredible. I don't know what I was thinking now ordering this one too. Um, but anyways, that one is called Country Living. It is amazing. Okay. Let's move on to Indigo Boy. So now that we're getting into the ones that I have, let me show you what they look like. So I love that each label is a different color because if I have these all just like sitting on my desk, I can easily grab, grab them because I'll remember which one is what color. Um, I might just be a weirdo, but I feel like I don't know. It's just so helpful for them to be different colors and in different packaging. Yeah, these are $11.30, you guys. And I'm telling you, they're amazing and I feel like you need to run. Run and get them. You will not be disappointed. So Indigo Boy says that it is Egyptian patchouli and it says it is deep, dark, and woodsy, but with the sweet powderiness of a perfect musk. Strong at first, but as the day goes on, I cannot stop smelling my own damn wrist. Smells like your boyfriend. Um, it smells amazing. It's, oh my gosh, it's patchouli and it's like a hippie patchouli, but there's a cleanliness to it because it's got a musk or, or it's got like a clean musk in it. So it's like a clean hippie patchouli. Like I've never smelled those two things mixed together at all. Like ever. I've definitely smelled my fair share of, of hippie patchoulis of... Yeah, it's almost like a, you know, it's like a medicinal kind of hippie patchouli, but with a musk, it's incredible. It smells so good, and it is. This one is by far the strongest out of this bunch. Um, this one is definitely, it like this one definitely projects for a while, but it does start to dry down after a while. And this one changes, this goes, it like morphs and changes and it'll smell like one thing and then it'll smell like something else. And then it just, it's so good. It's so good. If you're looking for like the most amazing patchouli oil ever, it's right here. And it's like $11.30. So anyways, that is Indigo Boy. That one is so good. Next is this one here called Heaven Scent. So Heaven Scent, this is one of the ones that I ordered. So I'm trying to remember, I ordered Heaven Scent, The Bakery, Swallow Me, and Superheroes. I think these are the four that I ordered. So she sent over Heaven Boy, I think is that one. She sent over Indigo Boy, which I am so grateful for because it's incredible. I wouldn't have known what I was missing. And she sent this one here called Black Mermaid. And then these are the four that I ordered just so you know um, what was gifted and what I actually paid for. Full transparency. Okay, um, next let's talk about Heaven Sent. So when I read the description of this one, I knew I had to have it. 
I had a feeling it was going to be something like Smells Like a Stero, but different. And that's exactly what it is. I'm going to rub it back on the spot that I had it because I have all of these on my body somewhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I mean... If you guys are at all interested, she sells a whole set of every oil that she makes now too. And I feel like if you're interested in them, just go for the whole set, seriously. It's absolutely worth it. Okay, Heaven Scent is, it says bright and fresh with musty citrus undertone, musky sweet. Last, yet it fades in and out all day. It changes nose as it comes and goes, just like Indigo Boy. That's what that one does. Oh my gosh, and this is so beautiful. It is, it is fresh and slightly like white musky, like smells like a sterile, but it does, musty citrus is the perfect description of it because it does have this kind of, and I don't know about musty, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a fuzzy citrus note and I almost get like a slight fresh wood Oh, it is so, so good. It's another really clean scent, but it almost has this light smokiness to it. It changes, it morphs, and it does different things, and it'll probably do different things depending on your skin chemistry. It's amazing. This one is, I don't know, this is one of the most interesting ones. They're all interesting, but this one, oh my gosh, this one just does different things on your skin, and so good so yeah you get a little bit of this bright citrus you get this clean kind of musk but there's like a I don't know there's like a warm almost light smoky scent oh it's so good so anyways that one is called heaven scent that is amazing this is completely unisex too this would work perfectly on a man on a woman on anybody it would just be amazing Okay, next we have got this one here called Swallow Me. I'm sorry, I haven't been, I'm like so excited about these oils. I'm forgetting to hold them up and show you guys. So that is what Swallow Me looks like. Really gorgeous. And you can tell, like look how dark the Indigo Boy oil is. It's so dark, so you know that's gonna be some rich, rich oil. <laughs> I knew I was going to be obsessed with this. This is Egyptian vanilla. It says creamy, yummy, cake batter vibes. Try not to lick your own wrists, which I knew immediately. I was like, holy cow, you know I'm such a gourmand lover. <sighs> but this is for people that don't want to smell like a literal cake. Like, this is still sweet and light and clean smelling it's still clean smelling and but it's gourmand at the same time it really does smell like the most beautiful like cake cupcakey vanilla but without being too literal it's just perfect it almost gives me you almost get a little bit of like a coconut vibe from it but it doesn't smell like coconut if that makes any sense it's so good. This is one of the first ones I rolled on and I just sat there smelling it like, well, I had every single one on my on me somewhere. So I just kept going back and forth from like smelling one part of my hand to smelling another part of my hand to smelling one part of my arm to another part of my arm. And I kept coming back to this one because it is so good. This is for my gourmand lovers out there. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's so, so good. It's, this one's amazing on its own, but I feel like it's gonna be amazing layered too. And this one would be amazing layered with any of these other ones. Like I feel like this would be so good layered with Smells Like Bang, or even with Indigo Boy, it would add a little bit of like a sweetness to that patchouli. So good. So anyways, that one is called Swallow Me. It's amazing. Next, we've got this one called The Bakery, and this is another one that I knew I had to have. Um, this is one that 
So I had already ordered this because I had already put in my order and I had already ordered this and then somebody commented on, it was a, it was on the oils video, but it was a comment that came in like days and days, like maybe even weeks later. And she said that she had the bakery and she loved it so much. And I was like, oh yay, I'm so glad because I ordered that one. Um, look how dark this oil is, you guys. It's almost the same color as the black label. It's so dark and rich and it smells amazing. Okay, so this one is, oh my gosh, this is so good. It says it's a buttery, spicy scent with deep earthy tones and low tones of sweetness and fruits. Imagine rich vanilla, fresh fruits, sandalwood, and patchouli. And again, it's like, it's not quite as gourmand smelling as Swallow Me, but it's a really beautiful, kind of sweet, fresh, and still kind of edible smelling. It's amazing. It's so good. It's like you, your brain wants to think it's a gourmand, but then when you sit there and smell it, you get this really beautiful freshness from it. Like this cleanliness, almost a, almost a slight soapiness, but then it's sweet and it's got this vanilla. So then your brain goes back to, no, it smells like something I want to eat. And it's like right in the middle. It's like something kind of sweet and fresh and clean, but something yummy and vanilla that I want to eat. It's amazing. It's incredibly unique. I've never smelled anything like it. Like I've never smelled clean gourmands ever. And that's what these are, which is amazing. It's like a new genre of fragrance, like a clean gourmand. So anyways, that one is called The Bakery. It is so good. Um, next we've got superheroes and this one This is one that I knew was going to make me feel like I was back in the 90s like I was back in my teenage years <laughs> um, Oh my gosh, and it does this has a very Literal fresh rose note in it. Yeah, it's like a little literal fresh rose, but but this dries down to smelling like earthy and kind of peppery it's it dries down completely opposite or like completely different from what it was when you first applied it so this says a very spicy and superior egyptian musk extremely different from any egyptian musk you've ever smelled sultry intense dark sexy yet still somehow powdery and clean will definitely grow on you i felt it was too strong at first but then really came to like it over time I get a very distinct rose in this. I don't know if it's actually got rose in it, but I feel like I can smell it. It's like a green, fresh, spicy rose. And that hangs around for maybe 30 minutes. But after that, it dries down to this beautiful, like clean, peppery, earthy, like, like almost like fresh earth, but it doesn't smell, but it's very, very light. So it's not, so you're not going to walk around smelling like mud pies or anything. It's a very kind of light, peppery, spicy, earthy fragrance, but I swear I'm getting rose from like the get go. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. I knew I was going to love it. I knew it was going to remind me of my childhood some t somehow. It's got that kind of vintage quality to it, like that vintage oil vibe to it. But it still smells completely modern and beautiful. It's amazing. So anyways, that one is called Superheroes. It's so good. And then last but not least, this is one that she sent over. This is called Black Mermaid. I was going to order this, but I feel like when I went to order or when I placed my order, this one was out of stock, um, which was why I wasn't able to order it. <laughs> I've still got this one on. This thing is such a beast of a fragrance. Um, I put this on like way earlier today and it's still going strong on my skin. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So Black Mermaid, again, look at the color of the oil. Okay. So Black Mermaid, it's got a custom label that was painted by an artist named Skylar Duff, which is very cool. It's a very pretty label. Very, very pretty label. 
I love it. And how fun to collaborate with somebody, with an artist to make a visual interpretation of a scent that you created. I think that's amazing. Okay, so anyways, uh, Black Mermaid says it is um, exotic and mystic musk, a little deeper, sweeter, woodsy, earthy, spicy cedar amber, and a hint of champa, which that's why I wanted. I was like, oh my gosh, I need something that is like Nag Champa back in my life. I haven't had like a Nag Champa oil or incense or anything in a long time. And talk about something that will remind me of my teenage years. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful though. This is, this smells, like I definitely get the Champa in it, but it's very, very subdued. It's not like, it's not like an overtly Champa fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is sweet. It, I get like a floral from it. And even on my skin, I get like a sweet floral from it. When it dries down on your skin though, it ends up smelling. It just ends up drying down to this really beautiful, slightly powdery, slightly musky, clean, sweet floral. It's gorgeous. It smells Again, this one has a slight vintage touch to it, but still smells completely modern. It's beautiful. This one would be for anybody looking for something that is more floral forward. Um, maybe not so musky, not so not resinous, not patchouli, um, not sweet. Somebody that is really looking for something a little bit more floral. Um, I think this one is the one that is for you. It's beautiful. It's the most floral, I think, of all of them and it's gorgeous. It's very feminine and it's just beautiful. It lasts forever on your skin too. And these will project like an absolute beast for two or three hours and then they do wear closer to the skin, but you will smell them every time you move and everybody around you will be able to smell you. Um, it's just how they, these oils work. They're amazing. So thank you so, so much to Astero for sending the extras. I am so happy to have been able to get my nose on basically everything that she makes. I was so excited to see that she had come out with so many more since the last time I had ordered. And I cannot recommend these enough to you guys. Definitely run over to her website. I will have everything linked down below for you if you're interested, but do not sleep on these. They're so good. Uh, they're some of the best oils in my collection. And like I said, if I lost my entire perfume collection, my 300 bottle plus perfume collection. If I had every single one of her oils, I would be able to make it because I would have what I need in my life to make me happy as far as fragrance goes. And you cannot beat the price, you guys. $11.30, you cannot beat the price. They are amazing. So yeah, definitely check out these oils. They're so good. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.